guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be decluttering my eyeshadow palette collection. I'm kind of looking forward to this. I'm kind of not looking forward to this because I know that there's going to be some hefty losses, um, but they kind of need to go to make room for more amazing purchases in this year, 2017. Yay. So I'm going to start off with like the smaller eyeshadow palettes. Um, this is my e.l.f. one. It's one of the first eyeshadow palettes I kind of like bought when I was first getting into makeup and it's in Golden Goddess. You can see how much I've used it. Um, it's well over 12 months old now, it's probably nearer two years old. So I'm going to be getting rid of this one. Easy. This one from Pop Beauty, it came in like a birch box or something like that and it's called Peach Parfait. Um, I really loved this. The highlight shade was absolutely out of this world. These are really blendable, almost like too blendable in a way. They sort of blend out all into one colour in the end. It's a bit of a shame. Um, you think they're quite different, but they kind of like all mishmash into one. So that can go as well. That's really easy for me. Um, I just had this eyeshadow palette for Christmas from my friends. It's from the brand Vintage Rose, which I believe is maybe like an Asda or a Tesco brand. Um, I haven't really even swatched it yet, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, it looks pretty incredible. I'm going to give it a go. So just because I got it a few weeks ago, I'm definitely not getting rid of that, just so I can have a little play around with it. <clears throat> Okay, so my MUA Undressed palette, it's amazing. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I've hit pan on seven of the shades. So I'm gonna be getting rid of this because it's over 12 months old and it says it can only be open for 12 months. Not that, you know, I don't tend to listen to things like that if I really, really like the product. But if I'm like, kind of, shall I get rid of it? Shall I not? then the month thing really does sort of like make me decide. So this one can go now, shame, but I love it because I love it. Uh, this MUA Poptastic palette, again, it's 12 months. Um, if I get rid of this, then I have no longer any eye colorful eyeshadows in my collection but I really, really think that it needs to go. Like the quality of this one compared to the quality of the one that I just showed you are completely different. Like the actual formula, I suppose, of the eyeshadows. The, these ones don't really blend out that well. Some of them are chalky, some of them are creamy. Some of them have sort of like done that thing where they get like a film on them, I suppose. But I think this one can go as well. I think there are probably far better colours that I can purchase in the future if I was ever to want to buy a colourful eyeshadow again. I can buy singles because I didn't really get much use out of a palette full of colours, put it that way. <sighs> this one I got an emotional attachment to because when I first started um, out my channel I did like um, kind of like a swap I suppose with um, my friend Kerry um who's here on youtube and she sent me this and it's the revolution redemption palette iconic three so a dupe for the naked three i think for urban decay um as you can tell i've loved this to death i've hit pan on four of the shades um i l mainly use the mattes for going to work um, but this is well over the 12 months old now. It's probably getting on for a good two years old. So I am going to give this the boot, which kills me because I'm emotionally attached to it. But they're so cheap. I think you can pick them up for like £4.50 or £5.50 or something like that. And I'm, not, and I'm not saying it's a cheap product. I'm saying it's a really, really good product that you can get for a cheap amount of money. So if I really want to go and repurchase this, then I will. But this particular one has got to go. <laughs> Brutal. This is brutal. So, oh, right. The next palette is a really, really big one that my friend Vicky sent to me because I think she had it once when she was doing like a makeup course. She sends it to me so I could sort of practice with my eyeshadows. So, um, 
it didn't really work. They, they're not that amazing. Um, it's hard to sort of get product onto the brush to begin with because the actual things are so small. They don't really blend out a lot. Some of them are like, um, well, quite a few of them are like duds, I suppose. The darker shirt ones are okay. There's quite a lot of mattes, which is not really my jam. Um, I used a lot of the grey for Halloween this year, just gone to contour my dead face. Um, so it was handy for that, but I think I've had this for over a year now. Um, I don't know how long Vicky had it for, so for that it can go because it is a really big palette, it's just taking up space and I'm not using it, so there's no point. It's sad. I hate I hate wasting products, but um it has to go. It's just it's a declutter. And I need whoa, I need to declutter, so that's got to go as well. Makes me sad. So three left. So this palette here. I Heart Makeup, it's by which falls under Tam Beauty and I think it actually falls under Makeup Revolution in some sort of roundabout way but some people say it does, some people say it doesn't, so whatever, it's I Heart Makeup. Um, it's beautiful, I've really used this a lot, I bought this in April and it is stunning. I have never had so many compliments on my eyeshadow of when I used this palette. I used it so much in the summer months for this shade. I used that as like my um, lid and then just went differently with everything else. I'm going to be keeping this because it's absolutely amazing and I really want to get more of the chocolate bar palettes. Um, it actually smells incredible. I wouldn't say it smells like chocolate, but it smells like sweets or something sweet like caramel. Um, really, really nice. Love how blendable the um, eyeshadows are, uh, etc. And you can get so many looks from it. So I'm going to be keeping this. I've got a MAC eyeshadow quad, which was made by somebody else. I mean, this was Vicky's before she I bought it from her. Um... So this shade here is Cranberry. Which is beautiful and I absolutely need to use more of it. This shade here is Antiqued. Which is also absolutely stunning and I need to use more of it. This shade here is Charcoal Brown. It's a matte shade. I know people are supposed to use these for like your crease and stuff like that or a transition colour or whatever. I don't really understand how that works. I just don't get it at all. But I'm going to keep it to force myself to learn how that works because I can't keep saying, mm, no, no, no. people obviously do it for a reason. Their eyeshadow looks better than mine. And it's probably because I'm not doing that vital stage. So I'm going to keep it and practice. And then this shade here is coppering. Which is just that one there. Stunning. All stunning. Not colours I would have chosen for myself. But I'm going to keep these. Because I've thrown so many of my eyeshadow palettes out now. I have to reach for this more now. So I will be getting more use out of it. Fact. End of story. So that's going to be really awesome. And I'm going to love trying these out more. Keep And then I've also got this MAC eyeshadow palette. Also, this was gifted to me by Vicky when I was in um, recovery from my boob job. Um, she sent it to me as sort of like a get well present, which was incredibly generous, I think, perfectly honest. 
Um, this is the Warm Neutral palette. It's stunning. You can see how much I've used that one already and that one also. I want to use this one more. Green khaki type of shades really, really intrigue me. I think they look stunning on the eye. They look mature, but not like um, old lady mature. They look like um, sophisticated late 20s, 30s lady look. And it's not childish, it's not teenagery. Not that, you know, this is quite young, childish, funky, fresh. I'm, I'm down with that as well, that's cool. But this is a colour that I would love to get more into. So I'm going to be playing around with this one a lot more. So I'm going to be keeping this palette as well because it's just so new to me and it's got certainly a lot of life left in it. So I'm going to be keeping that. One, two, So out of this whole process, I'll be getting rid of six eyeshadow palettes and only keeping four, which to me, that's a really big deal because eyeshadow is where, well, eyeshadow and lipstick is where I really sort of like go to town. Um, I'd love to be able to improve my eyeshadow skills. So I want to bring some more um, eyeshadow palettes into my collection. So to make room for those, this whole process needed to be done. I want to buy a matte palette because I have this thing where I'm like, oh, I can't possibly wear matte shades. It has to be all shimmery, as you can tell. Um, so I really want to learn how to do that. I want to be able to use just more than three shades on my eye at a time. I need to learn how to blend properly. Um, I want to create different looks because at the moment I'm just putting a lid on and then I'm doing like a, a corner and then taking the same colour from the outer corner right the way through my crease and then just putting highlight on. That's all I do. I need to change things around. So out with the old, in with the new and keeping some of my all time faves. If you like this video guys, please give it a massive thumbs up and click subscribe to my channel to see more of my declutter videos in the future. My lipstick one is coming up soon. See you soon.